Boy, we know so many people are trying to stock up on hand sanitizer just to protect themselves as best as they can during this coronavirus outbreak. So kitchen pantry scientist Liz Heineke is here to show us how you can make your own at home if you can't find any out there on the shelves. Yeah, and the number one message I want to give before I start this is wash your hands with soap and water. Um, the new coronavirus is an enveloped virus like influenza, and it can be killed with soap and water. Wash your hands. That also physically it, removes, right? removes yeah. it. Yeah. So you can make your own hand sanitizer if you can't find it, which is more so if you're on the fly. If you come out from the grocery store, you touch the keypad, you know, everything's a touch screen, you want to wash your hands. All it is is alcohol, which kills the virus, right. and some aloe vera gel, which will help make it easier on your hands. So you're not just torching your hands. Exactly. Yeah. The most important thing is that you want to have at least 60% alcohol. So I have... Um, 91% rubbing alcohol. Okay. Isopropyl alcohol is rubbing alcohol. You can also use 99%. Mm -hmm. But um, if you're using 91%, you add 3 fourths cup alcohol, 1 fourth cup aloe vera gel. And this is the aloe vera gel from that's like a sun, like oh, yeah. a sun soother. So it right. has some water in it. It has a little bit of alcohol in it. Um, and that's you, it? Three quarters? Three fourths cup of alcohol, one fourth, one fourth cup of, 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 of aloe vera. vera. Okay. Mix it together. It's kind of tricky to mix it. Put it in a hand pump. Hmm. Okay. It's, it's just like the, uh, it kills germs. It's oh. for on the fly. You can put it in these little bottles and carry it around with you. Same cool. consistency. Same thing. And this is better, I think, this is better than the stuff you buy because it doesn't have yes. the anti- you don't need antibiotics. Biotics Coronavirus is a virus. Yeah, it's, you don't need antibacterial. Yeah. This is perfect. It uh, kills bacteria too. Okay. In, your, in your book, Chemistry for Kids, brand new book, yes. you actually are showing people maybe how they can do their own aloe vera. Right? Yeah, although this is more for sunburn relief. And this is a cool project for kids they can learn about a scientist named Tu Yu Yu, mm -hmm. a Chinese scientist who discovered a natural remedy for malaria that's actually one of the most effective malaria drugs there is today. So this is a way that kids can sort of see how you can extract like a home remedy or a medicine from plants. So I got these at Ikea yesterday. You can buy giant aloe leaves at the grocery store. You just cut them off the plant. We're going to snip it off. I'm going to just show you this. You snip it off. See how it's full of this oh, gel? Yeah. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. huh. you kind of, there, yep, yeah. you kind of soak the yellow stuff off the end of the leaf. You peel it. Oops, Whoops. sorry. Let me do this it's one. It's just like a carrot. I peeled peeler some. Or yep, like a potato, potato peeler, peeler, carrot yeah. peeler. You peel off the top, and it reveals this gel. I'm going to give each of you one of these. This is amazing. I guess cool. I, you yeah. know, you see I'm aloe. I'm going to give you a spoon. And you see the plants, but just I didn't scoop realize. That, scoop that gel out of there. Mm -hmm. How jelly it is. Yeah. yeah so that's look at one this. thing about that. Even you know, modern mm -hmm. chemists are trying to figure out, look at some traditional remedies, and test them with modern standards to see how effective mm -hmm. they are. But this is how kids can make their, and then you can store it in a jar. Sure. If you put a little alcohol in it, it will last longer. And basically then you have the sunscreen remedy. But this is a really neat way that huh. kids can see um, how scientists extract um, pharmaceuticals from plants. From plants? In my book, I also talk about Alice Ball, who came up with um, a medicine to treat leprosy. So Awesome. Very good. Thanks, Liz. Yeah. You can see more of Liz's experiments at kitchenpantryscientist.com. Just go to wcco.com slash links, and we'll get you there.